Uh huh. Yeah, guys. Uh, the chick kiss system. You guys, so. Uh, well, here it is. And you guys thought you were coming over here for something sexy, didn't you? Tricked you again, but you know, I have to do this kind of stuff, guys, to you, because if I didn't, you wouldn't come over and check out this channel, you know. So here it is. I had to, here's your, your, your chick kiss system. You gotta keep it, keep it simple, stupid, okay? That's what we have here, okay? Let me sit down here in my little throne. Actually, I'll come over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, boy, it's great in here. It's got to be... I came out here yesterday. I got a little thermometer right over there, right down there on the floor. And it was 105 on the floor here. But then I opened this barn door up right here. And let this here. I got this thing blowing air here. And anyway, yeah, that dropped it to like 95 or something in here. These little guys here, these little Bantams, little tractor supply, look at there. They figured out their little perch. I got a little perch in here for them. They're losing their fuzz. Yeah, they like that. Isn't that nice? That's a Mexican sunflower stalk I threw in there. Oh, your little buddy decided to get up there too with you. Isn't that nice? So yeah, we had an issue here. Um, these are helping build up my stock in my chicken tractor. Okay, and the reason I'm going with bantams is the fact I have a small chicken tractor. And I, you know, these things give you little eggs like this in six months. I don't really raise them. You have to eat, you have to get two of them to make one regular chicken egg. But anyway, the reason I went with the small birds is the fact that I have a small chicken tractor, and, it, and it's easy to drag. There's something to think about if you guys are making uh, garden beds. That's Moringa in there, by the way. I threw a pile of it down there, and they drug it all the way up here. They're having fun with that this morning. But anyway, I have a small chicken tractor, so they can uh, drag it easily. And, uh, you know, I can move it around. And I'm basically using these things as rototillers and fertilizer. Yeah, yeah. Now, what have I got in here? I had to build a coop. I had them in the half pickle barrel. You guys saw that. Well, they're starting to get feathers on them now. So, and it, you know, you got to give them some room. You can't just keep them in that thing. You could keep probably, if you put a perch like this at each end, you could probably put easily uh, eight, eight, eight of these in here. And you could breed them and, and let them grow all the way up to almost adults. And that's what I have to do here. I have to bring these things up all, almost all the way to adults because there's two adults out there. If I was to throw young birds in there, they would get beat up and killed. They're going to have to be good, big enough to defend themselves. So that's the reason for this cage. Now I'll leave them in here in this barn until they get right up to almost full size and to where they can jump up. I don't have a ramp. I don't know if you noticed my chicken box out there, my tractor. I don't have a ramp for them to go up. It's uh, more KISS system, all right? Are they just, I have a hole that I open up and they shoot up and go up in that hole and, and sundown. And then there's roosts inside that. that. That tractor can take six birds easily. You can take a rooster in there and five hens. Now with that operation, you can make all the chickens you want. And these little bantams will, they're good, they're good brooders too. They will, you don't need an incubator, you can brood your own, but you gotta pull out your rooster. He'll beat the living hell out of these little babies and they'll keep trying to breed with the girls that are sitting on them eggs in there and he'll mess them up. So soon as you get your, your hens bred, and they're acting broody, pull that rooster out, and you can throw him in a cage like this until you're ready to go again, or you can throw him in your soup pot, whatever you want to do with him. But if you want to keep breeding and keep making meat birds too, you can keep your rooster. Once you hatch off a, ba a batch of babies, you can 
take him out of this cage, put him back in with the chicken hens, with the hens, let him go through breeding again, and, and, and when they get broody and start sitting on eggs, pull him back out. By then, your little chicks that you've taken from her out there that they've hatched, you can put in this thing. And she'll run you off. They'll run off 10, 12 babies for you easily. And them other hens will be... <coughs> them other hens will be laying eggs in there with her. <coughs> with the broody one. So anyway, that's the way to do it. Now, I'm going to show you this. is a very simple cage. I threw this together in two hours. Uh, I know it looks like it too, but it's, it's, it's what it serves its purpose. I had, I had this one by two... I mean, uh, half by one, half by one, in stock, and um, for trap. I was building some traps, critter trap. But anyway, this is a very simple cage. It took it took four pieces of this. Uh, I guess it's spruce. Get it at, at Lowe's. I picked up the wire. I picked up 25 feet of this wire. I think it was 13 and change. And I picked these were these were really cheap. I think this whole this whole pen here cost me, of course, I had this in stock. There's wire on the bottom. There's, there's one inch chicken wire on the bottom of this thing. All right. Miss Daisy said, now you're going to throw those chickens in the barn and you're going to have shavings everywhere in there. And you're going to have a mess. You're going to have sawdust all over my truck. And I said, no, Miss Daisy, you're wrong. And then I got an eye roll. You know how they do it? They get an eye roll. I, my granddaughter does that too, and I think she adopted that from Miss Daisy. The eye roll. You know, the eyes go up and roll around. Uh, yeah. Um, I think that's where my little granddaughter got it from. But anyway, so I said, no, Miss Daisy, you're, uh, you're dealing with a genius here. Yeah, I told her I was a genius. Can you believe it? And she said, well, well how are you going to prevent that? I said, I have my ways. So here's my ways. And I haven't. She just saw this today. This thing's been in here. This thing's been in here for a week, and she had to go down and to, to a shopping center or something this morning. So she got to look at this for the first time. But anyway, here's my trick. You just take a cheap Harbor Freight tarp, right, and you put on a bottom. Keep it extra. Keep 10, 12 inches extra all the way around. Just trim it off. Okay. I have. I didn't even have to cut this. I had a desk for another project. It was over on my shelf. And I said, I bet that's going to work perfect. Guess what? It worked perfect. All right. So I throw it underneath. I threw it underneath. And you get your spring clamps. More Harbor Freight spring. And you just fold it around the corners. Now you've created a basket here to hold all these shavings, right? Okay. So you can change these shavings out probably once a week. All right. It's full of chicken manure. It's full of extra feed that they didn't eat, all right? Uh, extra rotting down moringa plants that they didn't eat, okay? So, yeah, you just, when you're ready to go with this thing, you take your clips off, and this cage is feather light. It don't weigh nothing. You pick it up, and you set it right here. You, as you pick it up, all of the shavings fall through on this tarp. You then pick the tarp up and throw it in that garbage can right there. Then you haul it back to your chicken tractor in the back, throw it in the chicken tractor. Those girls there will grind all this stuff into the soil. So now you've created more amendment, you've created more fertilizer for your garden. And that's the way you're going to roll. You take this track, you know, you've got a clean tarp, you lay it back down, you pick your chickens up carefully now. Their little feet will probably fall through this wire, this one-inch wire, but their bodies aren't. So you pick it up, you slowly set it back down on the tarp, let their feet come out. You put your clips back on, you throw some more shavings in, you're back in business. How wonderful. Now, to build this thing, so simple, it was friggin' crazy easy, okay? I had to sleep on it, though. I slept on it, and I woke up that next morning. I said, I got it. I told Miss Daisy, I got it. You got what? I said, I don't know, but I got it. She said, she, and then I got an eye roll. Okay, here it is. I, this whole cage went together with four, no waste, no waste at all, four, one by twos, one by two spruce. 
All right. I cut I cut four of them, four of them here. Actually, more than that. I cut four, five, six, seven, eight, and it all worked out. Eight two foot long ones. I set my garbage cans up, grabbed a skill saw, burned them off, all the cuts. Took the eight foot length, cut them in half. That gave me this one and the one down below. I laid this piece and the end piece on the slab, grabbed my four footers, laid on top as you can see, shot them in with my $15 Harbor Freight T-nailer, Brad nailer, I'm sorry, Brad nailer, one and a quarter inch long, one and a quarter inch out of this Brad nailer, $15 on sale, Harbor Freight. I have run a ton of stuff through this thing, guys. Make sure you oil it each time, air oil. The other tool I used to put this thing together was a Boss Stitch uh, T50 with half inch staples. These are all half inch staples. Okay, so once I shot these in, both side panels, this one and this one, I just stood them up. I sat right here in my chair, stood them up, grabbed my two-footer, bam, 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 shot them in on all four, on all four sides, flipped it upside down. I did the same thing on the bottom ones. Done. Your cage is built so simple it was crazy took my 25 foot length of chicken wire started on one end and wrapped it all the way around this puppy stapling it as you see here all the way around it I had like to say this in stock you could have used I still have enough of this to actually actually there it is right over there in that box that's what I had left and that would have been enough to do this top I don't think it would have been enough to do the bottom but whatever I had this and then I just flipped it upside down and shot the on the bottom that's it now here I have I have the cage clips here I put four of them in I needed an access door I left this a little wild on the end this is the action here see very simple hinge, easy to get at. You don't need to be crawling around in here. Now, if you had more birds, say if you had, I would have no problem whatsoever putting eight to 10 of these bantams in here. Now, if you had large chickens, I would not put more than maybe three in this thing, okay? But you're not gonna keep them in here. You're just gonna raise them in here long enough to get them up to where they can defend themselves inside a large coop outside where they're not gonna get beat up. So you can do the tractor like I do, outside, bottomless. This has wire in it, like I said. The chicks will stay in, I'll lift this up, I'll set it over here, all the stuff will fall in there. I can grab my tarp, throw it in the bucket, haul it out, dump it, reload it, done deal. It's so easy, it's the KISS system. So I just thought I'd run this by you guys and show you what I built. It's so easy to do. Uh, these birds will stay in here right, right up to almost full grown. Then I will take them out to introduce them to the tr chicken tractor so they know how to get in and out of the hole, get fly in and out. I'll wait for the sun to go down. I'll wait for the sun to go down and then I'll take these chickens while those other chickens are roosting and it's dark, I will take these full-grown birds and stick them in that box. At daybreak, when I go and open the hatch up, they're going to watch, watch the big chickens come out of there and jump out of the hole. They're not going to fight at night. They don't do much of anything at night but roost. So that way they'll be introduced, introducing themselves to each other the next morning when I open that box up. And they'll see how to get in and out of that chicken tractor. It's a monkey see, see monkey do thing, okay? So that's just a quickie on your kiss, your chick kiss. Be happy, guys. Be strong, because we got to, you know it. You know it. We got to keep getting her on. See ya.